Was I wrong? Maybe. Hello friends, welcome to the channel. My name is D-Rex. So recently, I made a two-part video series discussing the theory on the possibility that Glimmer could potentially be a fusion of Mithra and Pyrus children involving core crystals and origin. And in the second video, I discussed how either Klaus, Numa, or both of them could have made it possible for blades and humans to procreate and have offspring after all the rest was renewed when there wasn't any direct indication that they could make it possible prior to the ending of Xenoblade 2. But over the last couple of weeks, some viewers have mentioned the possibility that such unions could have happened prior to the renewal of all rest and a discussion with a comment commenter by the name of Josh Dewar, I hope I pronounced that name right, led me to this scene from Torn of the Golden Country. Look. This here display is a diagram of what human cells are made of. And then this one here is a blades. Astonishingly alike. Of course. After all, they are descended from humans too. So in today's video, I want to talk a little bit more about this scene and just to be perfectly uh, perfectly clear that this video is strictly on the unions of, of children born from blades and humans and the glimmer fusion theory I still think stands. So if you have not seen those uh, videos, go check them out, but I'm getting off track. So after watching that scene, I thought that maybe I could have been wrong about my assumptions that blades couldn't have children prior to the ending of Xenoblade 2 and so I ended up going back to the scene where Klaus was explaining how and why he created all rest and what we hear makes the scientist statement true because Klaus you know starts by saying he created the cloud seed to restore deteriorated matter left behind by his original world by disassembling it and then rebuilding it into the image of the things that once made up earth and that's when the core crystals come in. As we know, core crystals were originally made to replace human brain cells by those who survived the destruction of Earth in an attempt for immortality, which ended in horrific fashion, mind you. Uh, this is... It can't be. Now, the original cores contain the memories and information of all the things that lived on Earth prior to its destruction, which is why a lot of the animals look similar to the ones that we have on Earth. And the core crystals that Klaus would use would over time become titans that would then give birth to new core crystals, and then, and then the cycle would repeat itself. And from what I can tell, most drivers from what we've seen, their blades would take on a humanoid form. Now, yes, we do need to keep in mind that the type of titan the core crystal comes from and the driver they bond with do play a factor in the appearance, but the point is that human DNA, or at least its code, was inside the original core crystals, which would explain why blade and human DNA is similar, and by that information alone, it could be possible that blades and humans could have children between the two species. But just because their DNA is similar doesn't necessarily mean they are compatible. Now this is where things get a little complicated because I'm not properly educated enough on genetics to properly explain it. But basically when you are talking about crossbreeding between species, some things to note are the type of species uh, that you're discussing and the number of chromosomes that said species have. For example, like dogs, despite the vast difference in appearances, they all come from the same species of Canis lupus and share the same number of chromosomes of 78. That's why they are able to crossbreed. Whereas animals such as rabbits and hares, while they both come from the same family and have similar appearances, they are both their own distinctive species and don't have the same number of chromosomes with rabbits having 44 and hares having 48. And because we are discussing the similarities between blades and humans, I think it's fitting that I mention the real world rel closest relative that we have to us humans, that being chimpanzees, who we share 99% of our DNA with, and while our DNAs are similar, 
one of the big things is we have 46 chromosomes and chimps have 48. But there is a Xenoblade 3 art book coming out in April, which I did pre-order on Amazon Japan while I was making this video. And while it's unlikely to have it, uh, this new book may have some content in it to give us uh, regarding this spe uh, specific subject. You know, similar to the uh, Bonato Archive book, uh, in which it had a cutscene that never made it into the game that uh, would explain how Fiora got her human body back at the end of Definitive. Side note, I did find an English translated version while I was scouring the internet to see if there was any official English translations, and I will link that uh, website in the description. So with all that in mind, where does that leave us? Like I've said in my previous video, maybe Klaus, Numa, or both of them uh, you know, had a hand in allowing Blades to have offspring with humans and, you know, since it just popped up in my head while recording this, you know, maybe they even gave Blades the option to have children together like humans instead of turning into Titans. Or maybe, you know, Blades could have always been able to uh, have children with humans, but the Indole Petroleum, you know, could have, you know, thought it was blasphemous for such unions to happen and others saw it as a threat to their power and control over blades and would try to prevent natural born hybrids instead of the artificially created flesh eaters and blade eaters. Or maybe somewhere in the middle of those two uh, theories, you know, blades had the ability to have offspring with uh, humans, but the genome for it was dormant and it wasn't until the restoration of Allrest that they could, you know, have children with their drivers or, you know, a combination of all of these. But that is going to be it for this video. Let me know down in the comment section what your thoughts and opinions are on this uh, topic. Do you think Blades and Humans could have always had children together, but, you know, Indol was being their grubby power controlling selves and, you know, preventing that? Or was it until after all rest was? Uh, you know, restored that it could happen and remember to be civil and respectful of each other's opinions even if you disagree and this is me telling you that life is a journey worth exploring catch you later